everybody and welcome back to another reaction video and today, today, we are checking out another song by the one, the only, the king of country rap, Church! That's right, that's right, we're checking out Up Church, Spin On, First Day Out. Up Church, Spin On, First Day Out. Up Church, First Day Out. Now, now, you guys know by now that we are going to check every single Up Church song out. One day you will look back at this channel and every single song this guy's put out will be on this channel. Every single one. We are doing a mission. We are getting through them. It's going to take us a long time. It might take us a year. It might take us two years. But we are going to do it. We are going to do it. Every single song. I've said that from the start. I'm saying it now. And I'll say it at the end when we finally complete that mission. But you guys keep filling my comments that section up with recommendations. Keep filling it up because I want to know what songs you guys want me to see. What songs are you guys itching for? And one. That this guy, Steve, and you know who you are, Steve. I see you in the comments. You've been asking for First Day Out for ages. And I read your comment. And here it is, my friend. Here it is. First Day Out. You've asked for it long enough. It's about time I did it. It's been going back to day one. And there's so many songs you guys requested from day one. I'm trying to get around to all of them. But this is long overdue. I think you will agree. So anyway, hit that like button. Subscribe and support this tiny little fish of a channel swimming in the great big blue sea. And enough of my waffling bollocks, let's jump into another, no doubt, fire song by the one, the only, Upchurch, first day out. Yeah. Church. This is a message to my fans, lately life been kinda crazy I'm still trying to wrap my mind around the fact that we all made it Yeah, I started in the holly in the middle of the cutty Back when it was five to nines, caulk paint and some putty Real talk, thank you all for letting my power glide You had faith in my ass when I didn't even have a ride Making videos with no servers, trying to post my shit online Walmart phone, straight talk, cause I was penny pitching tight Every stitch I- Alright, I see, I see So this is Up Charge's version of um, my fans by Tom McDonald, right? This is obviously I'm not saying that he that's what he did, but I'm saying this that's how that's what I'm comparing it to, right? This is that song for Up Church. This is that song for Up Church. This is first day out. This is the song to his fans. This is him telling his fans how much he appreciates and love them. And uh, damn Up Church, as one of your fans, and I'm more than happy to call myself that. Man, you don't ever need to say this. You don't ever need to say this. Do you know why? Because I look at the community and every single one of them. Has your back no matter what forever. 100%. Like I keep saying, every single one of this guy's songs is going to be on my channel. Do you know why? It's for two reasons. One, because I feel like the world needs to hear this guy. Because he is not known here in the UK. And as a UK channel, I can bring that presence over here. That's what I'm trying to do. But two, I just fucking love his music, man. Videos with no servers trying to post my shit online. Walmart phone straight talk because I was pinny pitching tight. Every stitch I close I had was hella stained and ripped up. People saying hip hop don't belong with none of you hit fuck. Like who want to hear a song about junk and metal for the cash flow? Tell the game that I ain't never known about slang and dope. They say fit in where you get it, but I don't have a category. All I got is a life and ability to write a story. White boy killing shit. Hood rats be calling me Norman because they know I bait him in and then it turns into a murder. Hey, Drew. Exactly. Exactly. That's the thing. Hip-hop was considered this thing that was basically like, oh, if you haven't sold drugs, if you haven't been shot or stabbed, or you haven't grown up a gangster, man, it is not for you. That's what this music is about. And don't get me wrong, maybe, maybe that's the formality of hip-hop. Maybe that's where it began. Maybe that's where it started. But the message that that presented is no longer welcome in today's world, simply because we should not be encouraging children to grow up thinking violence is okay. It should not be the thing. Which is why you get people like Tom McDonald who call this out. Which is why you get people like Upchurch who feel the way they feel, who feel like they stepped into the hip-hop gang and were immediately pushed back out the door they just walked through. And that is why they find their own lane, like he says. He even did a song, My Own Lane. Upchurch found his own lane in the world of hip-hop. The world of hip-hop was like, no, 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 this ain't for you. You didn't sling no dope. This ain't for you, whatever. And tried to push him out the door. And the thing is, Upchurch went, if you're not going to let me in your building, I'm going to roll over it with a big damn bulldozer and build up on the foundations. And that is exactly what he did. And man... He did it well. Boy, killing shit, hood rats be calling me Norman. Cause they know I bait them in and then it turns into a murder. Hey, Drew, remember back in the day, we fist fought, and this class got blood on the desk. And on the way to the office, we both became best friends. Sneaking in the Brentwood houses, damn near every weekend. Hey, man, the ladies loved us, especially ones that went to private school. Cause by the time we 16, we already had some tad shit. Shoot, man, time flies like that GT that you had then. Spray painted a black, man, we thought we was that hot shit. Hey, dude, off cracker, what they know about the creek? We was running hella wild while the neighborhood was sleeping. We we was raised around them felons that had warrants out for their arrest, but we went out and stitching because we really did the fucking race. Like I keep saying, like I keep saying, I even said at the beginning of this, I, you know, I keep saying it. Upchurch is considered a country rapper, right? Upchurch is considered a country rapper. He himself considers himself a country rapper. He mentions it in songs. Country rapper, bringing that country rap to you guys. I look at it and I hear his talent. I hear his lyrical skill. And the only thing I can say is I don't see Upchurch as a country rapper. And 
I have to see Upchurch as a rapper. I see Upchurch as someone who's got insane presence in the hip hop scene, and and it may not be recognised by a lot of people in there, but it is certainly recognised by us. Upchurch, when you listen to his flow, when you listen to his lyricism, when you listen to the straight skill he has that he's developed and improved over the years, you cannot put any doubt on his name. He is one of the best rappers in the game. Running felons, they had warrants out for their arrest, but we were not in stitching because we really didn't fucking race. Sam, to remember when the police wouldn't even let us out, I fell asleep in your mind, Carlo, right off on the stormy's house. Remember when we were just chilling up at Union Hill, hiding in the toolbox because we couldn't pay admission, fam. fam. We'd have came a long way. Now it's Creek Squad, Creek Squad, dirty white boys from one lane road, south side, going too hard. Ain't seen nothing like us, not even up on the telly, dog. We come out shocking motherfuckers like we got kind of prod. Yeah, I'm fucking ugly, yeah, I'm slightly overweight. Jesus, this. Beat man, this beat is insane. This beat is insane. I'm loving hearing the stories. I'm loving hearing the history. Tell me more about where you came from, man, because I want to know. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. I'm here for this guy. That beat, man, it feels like an intro to an Adams Family track or something. Like any second now, it's gonna go horror old school. This is insane. <laughs> every time, every time I press play on up church track, I just sit back, smile, and my mouth opens. I can't even say anything. The guy just gets me, man. He just gets me going. We come out shocking motherfuckers like we got kind of prod. Yeah, I'm fucking ugly. Yeah, I'm slightly overweight. Yeah, I got a bunch of goons that are coming right your place. Yeah, I live out in the country. Yeah, I like being that redneck. Some burnt skin still coat around my damn neck. Riding the running trucks that was fresh back in the 80s. Fully loaded when I'm rolling. National City on a daily. Cause you crack it, motherfuckers can get lit up. I ain't playing. I ain't bothering the sheriff if you stepping on my land. And I be hitting them. It's not even stopping. It's not even stopping. It's not even stopping! <laughs> oh my god! This guy, this dude right here, has asthma! Has asthma! Has asthma! And he's spinning bars faster than some of the best rappers in the game. Country rapper, my ass. Rapper, rapper. You put some respect on his name. The guy came into the country rap scene and blew the damn lid off. Dominated the whole scene. It's about time he did that for the entirety of hip hop. Couple hundred. Up to you up those numbers. You put a couple zeros on there. You hit on your skins, man. You got way more than that, my friend. You got way more than that. You got a whole army of people completely loyal, completely got your back. And do you know why? Do you know why? It's because you're real. That's why. It is that word. It's because you're real. It's because you're not some fake portrayed image of what someone should be. You're just you. You were you from day one and you're you now. You didn't change. You didn't change. And and people say, oh money changes, this money changes. No, no. Money doesn't change anything. Money changes the way people look at other people. That's what happens. When someone gets money, the world around them looks at them differently. We frown and we're like, hmm, they got money now, they changed. It's like, no! They worked their ass off to get that money. They worked their ass off to pull themselves out of a hole that they thought they'd never see any light of day again. That the lid was so he strongly closed on top of them. And they worked so hard and up just grinded so hard. He had this talent, he knew he did, and he is showing the world it now. And the guy will always always have his army behind him because of that because of how real he is because of how true he is to himself and and it's impossible not to love him for that it's just impossible you hear his music you hear the way he talks to his fans you hear the way he talks about his community and you just can't help but love him no other guy would jump up in my comment sections i haven't had a single other artist pop up in a comment on any of these videos no one that says everything i ever need to know about this guy forever will ever will forever have my undying respect and love <laughs> I'm I am having a hard time following this. This is insane. This is insane. And now, like I said, it was like some Adams Family track, and it just the instrumentals was like slow, and it just got up and up and up and up and up, and we are climbing Mount Everest. People, strap in, put your ventilators on, because the altitude air is about to make us all choke. But the one person that ain't gonna make choke is up church because the guy's got iron fucking lungs. I, 
I, I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm lost. It's about putting jelly on people and eating them. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm good. I was following him. I was following him. I thought I was on his tail. You know, I was driving. He was driving. He swerved. and did a couple swerves. Did a U-turn. Spinned up and flew up into the fucking sky. And I've lost him. I've lost him. <laughs> oh my god. Put some jelly on them bitches. Throw them off in the toast. Because I'm eating motherfuckers like they pack inside a lunch. I get hungry when I'm stoned and I'm making them all uncomfortable. Yeah, they subbing my shit to see if I'm coming for them. Because I'm the hillbilly still killing the hick version of Slam. It's Pine Creek Road 51. Love that bar. Love that bar. Love that bar. I'm the hillbilly hick version of Slim. Yes. Perfect. 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 Hell yeah, I'm just. Yeah, I'm coming for them. Because I'm the hillbilly still killing the hick version of Slam. It's Pine Creek Road 51. <laughs> and I probably won't ever come to your antenna, but who fucking cares? <laughs> Church! I love you guys. Oh, fuck me, man. I love you. I fucking do. I so do. I so do. There's a version of this guy right here. There's a version of this guy right here. Right here, you know, who never knew church existed. That version is now old. Three, three and a half months ago. That guy had no idea church existed. That guy had no idea this music was out there. That guy didn't know this guy was out there. And do you know what happened to that guy? He's fucking died. He's gone. Bye bye. See you later. That's what happened to that guy. But I'll tell you what happened. I'll tell you what happened. A cow, right? A cow was actually browsing YouTube one day, and A cow popped up, and he did a short. He did a short video, like a jokey comedic thing that he does sometimes with his son. And he popped up, and I watched it. And I was like, oh, who the fuck's this guy? And I checked out some of his stuff, and I was like. I don't know if I agree with this guy's views, and I made a video talking about it, and you guys were like, whoa, 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 oh, calm down, my friend, calm down, my friend. <laughs> you don't know who A Cow is, and I was like, you know what, you're right, and you guys were like, check out some of his songs, he did a song called Racism, you listen to that, you see what you think about this guy, so I was like, you know what, you guys are right, you guys are right, I should never judge a person straight away, I apologize, and I apologize, and I said I apologize, and I fucked up, my first opinion should not matter, I'm gonna check out this song, and what happened then, I checked out this song, and I realized, a cow, Adam Calhoun, was this awesome guy, was this absolute legend of a dude, was so insanely talented, but on top of that, was so insanely open-minded, and had been put in this corner and branded as something that he just wasn't, and, the whole, and so many people were just like, nah, I'm not gonna give him a second chance, and all I was thinking was that I, I was wrong, I was wrong, the guy is a legend, the guy deserves to be hurt, and, uh, and it, I, I literally felt like an idiot, and then, uh, and then uh, you guys like, check out some more, hey cow. And you guys like, check out Hey Cow and Upchurch. And I'm not even joking. I was like, that must be a song by Adam Calhoun. Adam Calhoun Upchurch, right? Let's check out Adam Calhoun Upchurch. And I literally, not even joking. And if you check out my first ever reaction to these two guys, I hit play on a video thinking that it was going to be Adam Calhoun and, and his song was Upchurch. And I had no idea that Upchurch was this guy. <laughs> no idea. Jumped into it. Boom, out pops Upchurch. And I'm not going to lie. And I know it sounds harsh. And Upchurch literally stole the track for me. And literally had my eyes and had my ears. And I was like, fucking hell, I got to hear more of this guy. Boom. We jumped on another song by Upchurch and Acow. And uh, what happened? Upchurch himself commented on that. Had no had no reason to. I'm a tiny little channel. I was, even, I was way smaller back then. I had like two and a half thousand subscribers. But Upchurch, he took the time, didn't need to, to comment on that video. And ever since that day. Ever since that day. And he did it again. He did it again two videos later. And ever since that day. Chucks me on his Instagram story. Ever since that day. Do you know what that means? It just goes to show, this guy isn't doing this for the fame. This guy isn't doing this for the money. He got no benefit financially or, or with more eyes for commenting on my channel. It didn't help him in any way, but it helped me. And it helped me not only go into this world of music, but it helped, you know, more people go, ah, oh, church likes this guy. Maybe I'll go check him out. And, and it, it helped me. And, uh, and he, it was a completely selfless thing. And it just made me realize from that moment. I found someone special. I found someone special. I found someone in this day in with music these days who who isn't doing it just for themselves. Isn't doing it for money or women or drugs or whatever. It's doing it for the fun of it. It's doing it because they love it. It's doing it for the passion. The thing that is lost for so many people. That's why I'm here right now. I get paid nothing for this. I'm doing it because I love talking to you guys. I love making these videos. And I just realized this guy was the guy for me. This was the music I didn't even know I needed in my life. And here we are. Three and a half months later, down this journey, we've discovered Tom, Dax, we've discovered Nate, we have discovered, and we're discovering more and more people, Norn, Struggle Jennings, Broadnax, it's like, the list just goes on and on, Yellow Wolf, all these people I didn't know existed, three and a half months ago, didn't know existed, and look at us now, man, and it all started, and in my eyes, it all started, because of this guy, because of this guy, because of this guy, took his time, took the time out of his day, to leave a comment on my video, and inspire me, to kick myself up the ass 
and to open my eyes into a world of music I had been completely blind to. And now I am, I will never look back, <laughs> ever. And I'm so happy for it. And I just love this guy. Man, I just love this guy. Anyway, anyway, I've spoken for long enough. I've taken up enough of your day. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for supporting this channel as you guys always do. Man, it means the world to me, it really does. And uh, as always, you, right there, will see this smiling, crazy British guy in the next video.